Hello fellow homeschoolers. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than I have ever done on my channel. I am going to do an unboxing, my very first unboxing. Part of homeschooling for us is also the RDI program. Now if this is the first time that you've seen my videos, I have a little girl who was born in 2011 who has autism and we are a part of a program called Relationship Development Intervention and it's really a lifestyle program for parents. So anything that I do will incorporate some of those principles. The great thing about it is even if you don't have a special needs child, these are all principles that are really great to use in your, your lifestyle and when you're interacting with your child. So today what I have is Drew's art box. And I have been looking for more activity-based learning for her, things that really allow us to experience things together while she learns. We do more of what I would say is an unschool um, type of homeschooling, or you might just call it child-led learning. I do, however, like to continue to guide her and give her opportunities to experience different things. So I've been looking for like science boxes and anything that comes in a mail that's going to be really easy for me to just pull out and, um, and show her because I also work. <laughs> so if you're also a working homeschooler, you totally get what I'm saying. Or if you have multiple kids and you just like that box to come in the mail and um, have everything ready for you, you'll want to check this out. So this is what Drew's art box looks like on the outside. Now one of the things that makes this different from many of the other boxes that you get in the mail is that it is not a subscription. Yeah, you heard it right, it's not a subscription. Even I was surprised. Now I heard about this from some other homeschooling parents that are using these and they've absolutely loved them so I decided to check it out. And yeah, I was surprised it wasn't a subscription. They have um, several different boxes that you can choose from on their website, which is drewsartbox.com. And you just go online and you pick the box that you want. Each box is 30 to $35 with free shipping. Yeah, free shipping, I love that. And you have two to three projects per box. All the same project, but you can make two to three versions of it. So there's enough supplies if you had you know, one child and you wanted to do this three times or you wanted to do it together, you have enough supplies for both of you. Um, or if you have three children that are very independent and want to work on these on their own, you know, you have, know that you have enough for, well, two to three, depending on the one that you pick. Now these are age range, nine and up. Um, you can use these for younger kids. Like I said, my daughter is um, seven. So she's going to need a little more help, but it's still totally doable. Um, the box that we picked today um, is called Watercolor Batik. Now I pick, picked that because it looked to me to be um, a little bit easier than some of the other projects. My daughter has some fine motor delay, and so I want her to be successful when we first start doing this. I don't want to pick like the hardest box and have her be frustrated. And then when we get another box in the mail, she's like, oh no, you know, she runs the other way because oh, mom's going to make me do, you know, this really hard thing that makes me uncomfortable. So this is a watercolor project and let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing and take a look. So here we have Drew's art box. And we open it up and we have Drew's Art Box Batique Landscapes. Um, right here are the video lessons. I forgot to mention that. Um, you do have step-by-step -step video lessons for all of these. So if your kids like to learn by video, that's very helpful. Or if you would like to review them ahead of time and then do them with them, that works too. Um, table of contents, what's in the box? We have all of the art supplies. Um, in this kit, we have everything from pencils to toothpaste, um, wax palettes, dowels, Velcro, everything needed to do the project. Then we have the lessons and it goes through step by step. So you can review those video lessons and then if you have a good memory, you can go back, you have a guide here in paper. 
And then um, you can share um, your uh, Instagram shots or your finished projects on their Facebook group, which you will find the link for the Facebook group at the bottom of their uh, website on the main page, and that's drewsartbox.com. Here we have Drew's vocabulary list. Now this is a curriculum based um, box. So if you're looking for something that is more than just a project, it's actually learning and has a curriculum behind it, then you'll love Drew's art box. So we have words in here, um, abstract, abstraction, color wheel, color theory, middle ground, perspective, secondary colors. Who knows, maybe you'll learn something in this as well. Wax resist, I know I will. Drawing my favorite things. Choose four of your favorite objects, animals, symbols, or anything else that is of importance to you and then draw them using one single line. Include only the most important details and then it refers you to lesson one. Art history comparisons. You're gonna analyze line-based art made by Pablo Picasso and Alexander Calder. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then they show some works from each of those. Oh, and Mondrian. And that is it. Now we pull back this beautiful blue paper and you will find all the supplies that you need are in a nice Ziploc bag. So even if we have, goodness gracious, if we had some spills, hopefully not, but they would be contained within the in the Ziploc bag. We also have our papers, which is also a good reason that's in the Ziploc. We wouldn't ruin our papers. Um, the dowels for this project, Velcro, all that is inside the box. So everything that you need is right inside that box. Ready to go. Just gonna fold this back up because that's the way I am. <laughs> So check out their website. They have eight other projects on there, or eight projects total, I should say. And like I said, it's not a subscription-based company, so you can just choose them as you need them. It's a good way to just try something out. See if your kids like it before you subscribe to something. If you have any subscription boxes, art projects that come straight to your door, I would love to hear about them. Just put them in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget, once again, to subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.